from the station that brings you local news first. You're watching Fox 4 News at 6.30. Good evening and thank you for watching Fox 4 News. I'm Austin Sack. Now you may recognize me from my time anchoring your Sunday newscast, but you can now find me here Monday through Friday on Fox 4, where we share your local news first. Mesa County election staff need your help. As a way to help reinstill voter confidence, community members are being asked to take part in the hand count of this year's election. Election staff have received more than 52,000 ballots, but before the hand count process can begin, more participants are needed. Applicants are subject to a background check and will be hired as a full-time employee, but only from November 29th through to December 17th. It's a great opportunity for the citizens of Mesa County to help out and for themselves verify whether or not the machines are counting things accurately. Uh, I think that it's going to be a big project. It's definitely the biggest hand count um, that we know of in the state of Colorado at this point. Election staff are looking for about 100 residents to participate. Those selected will receive an hourly wage of $12.32 per hour with lunch provided. To apply, visit westernslopenow.com for more details. And we finally reached daylight savings time and have set our clocks back an hour. I know I have definitely noticed a change, but as it gets darker sooner, should we expect cooler temperatures now at an earlier time, or dare I even say snow? Let's check in with our chief meteorologist, Russ Pappas. Chief, what can you tell us? Well, I'll tell you, the sun went down tonight at 5 o'clock. Local news, emergency repairs continue on Interstate 70 through Glenwood Canyon from the damage caused by mudslides back in July. Currently, there are no overnight closures anticipated on the emergency repair project for the rest of the week on I-70 from exit 116 to exit 133. The road construction project costs about $6 million and the major work includes guardrail replacement, culvert repairs and roadway resurfacing. CDOT is on track for repairing both eastbound and westbound lanes on I-70 through Glenwood Canyon just in time for Thanksgiving. But officials say river work cleanup will create traffic delays in December. River work has been underway. Uh, this is where material is being removed from parts of the Colorado River material that came down during the materials flows this summer. Uh, that work will be continuing through the winter and so motorists should anticipate for lane closures because of that work taking place. An extended single lane closure remains in place at mile point 123.5 on Interstate 70, but organizers say that closure will expire before Thanksgiving. And while Thanksgiving nears, it's time to prepare for the holidays. This year, Black Friday lands on Friday, November 26th, but we're already seeing several retailers, including Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, all offering early holiday specials. If you've been pushing back your holiday shopping to avoid long lines, you may be running out of time. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to affect our everyday lives, now just in time for the holidays. Severe supply chain issues have packed cargo ships stuck at American ports with nowhere to go. Prices have gone up and store owners are feeling the pain from high shipping costs. The cost for a container shipping out of China was $6,500 from China to Denver. And now? It's uh, $30,000. Black Friday sales typically start as soon as Thanksgiving ends, but every year Black Friday sales seem to start earlier and earlier. This year, the sales are already here and majority of retailers are urging customers to start shopping now. That's definitely the case this year to try to entice shoppers to start earlier um, so that they can get the gifts that they need, make sure that everything is under that tree on Christmas morning. For instance, Best Buy and Walmart are hosting early Black Friday deals on tech, home, and fashion products. Shoppers can also take advantage of several Amazon deals on a wide range of products. I shopped last month and I am done because I was anxious to get my online orders in. To prepare ahead of Black Friday, it may help to make a list. Check it twice, but also make sure what you want is in stock. Retailers plan to limit sales of top doorbuster deals, so you might have to go to several stores to get that special gift. And this year, like the past few holiday seasons, you may have to resort to online shopping. But there is no guarantee your present will arrive in time, so it's best to start now. And if you can, shop local. And speaking of local, this Monday, Colorado Mesa University celebrates a special kind of college student. First-generation students were celebrated today with a barbecue on the campus plaza. 
Among thousands of students who are a Maverick online and on campus, first-gen students make up a majority of CMU's family, whether they're current students, alumni, or faculty and staff supporting them. Between advising and career exploration, officials say CMU's TRIO Student Services meets the needs of every student. Those resources, resources make all the difference for first-generation students. A lot of the things that I've learned is to persist, keep on going forward, to persevere. And that's really helped me with like the services here because they've, they've provided me with the help that I need. It feels like a full circle. I was a first gen student at, here at Colorado Mesa University and now I get to be the director for the program here. Now that we are back to in-person services, we have funding to provide services for the next four years and so we will be here for the next four years and then we'll get to reapply for the grant as well. Nearly half of CMU's current students are the first in their family to attend college. Different support and services are provided as a source for their success. And about 28 million kids ages 5 to 11 are now eligible for the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine, and the shots started going into the arms of kids here in Mesa County this past Saturday. Rob Hagan reports on what parents need to know about the COVID-19 vaccine. November 2020 was the deadliest COVID-19 month in Mesa County with 45 deaths in connection with COVID and now the County Health Department fears the worst. I've been nervous about this month because we know what happened one year ago and so far this month we are seeing illness levels continue to spike. We've already seen 10 deaths this month due to COVID-19 in our community. Since the start of the pandemic, 94 children ages 5 to 11 have died from COVID-19 and more than 8,300 have been hospitalized according to the CDC. But there's new hope going into the arms of kids in Mesa County. We gave 150 vaccines on Saturday and in that learning experience, we learned that demand is so high right now. So we're looking at ways to expand hours because right now hours are only available on Saturdays. Kids ages 5 to 11 are now eligible to receive the Pfizer pediatric COVID-19 vaccine and doses of the vaccine have already been doled out to more than 100 kids here in Mesa County. And the best way to protect your kid from the coronavirus is to sign up for the shot. There are currently 25 outbreaks in schools in general in Mesa County. This includes more schools than just D51 schools. And the largest outbreak we are currently seeing is 73 at Grand Mesa Middle School. Bush says the county is averaging 112 COVID cases a day according to the last seven day average, but hope to supply plenty of vaccines to kids in the county in the coming weeks. I'm Rob Hagan for Fox 4 News. Still to come on Fox 4 News at 6.30, the United States travel ban has been lifted. Plus, your full weather forecast is just minutes away. We'll be right back.